All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode here in Minecraft. And in today's episode, we are still kind of in the jungle where we were last episode for the snapshot update, where we played around with some pandas and looked at some walls and slabs and new things like that. So you can still see all the ones I spawned over there. Um, but in this episode, we're going to discuss the new items that they've been adding. I don't really have much to say because I don't know much about them. Really, no one does aside from the names, and hopefully they work with the names. But, um... Let's see, we have the loom that I showed you guys in the last episode. This one you can interact with and it helps you dye the uh, banners however you like because that's great because I'm terrible at this. This is a barrel, so I'm assuming you'll be able to put something in it. Maybe it could hold water or some type of liquid. or maybe That would actually be really useful if you like needed water. You just run over and you grab it with your bucket. That would be kind of cool. Then we have, I don't know, what is this? A smoker. The smoker, I'm assuming, cooks. I hope it cooks new food. Like, it gives you more health points or whatever if you smoke the food compared to cooking it. Then the blast furnace. I'm hoping this is meant for only ores that can actually smelt faster than a normal furnace. A grindstone. I'm thinking maybe they'll add some additional perks with using the grindstone to uh, improve your weapons, which might uh, be a lot nicer for people who do, like, like what's it called player versus player pvp things like that that might actually be really cool if they had the opportunity to use a grindstone to improve their weapons a bit more just to have a little bit more of an edge did you just lay an egg there sir go now i have never ending eggs because of you thanks <laughs> then we have the lectern here i'm pretty sure you're going to use it to put books down and display the books but as of right now you can't do anything with it um, grindstone, you can't do anything either. This is a smithing table. So again, I'm hoping it's another thing like you can improve more things as you go. But looking at it as a design point, you can honestly use this for some cool decorations because of the hammers and the tools it's got on the side. Just like you could use a crafting bench. This one's a fletching table. So again, I'm thinking these are all going to be like improvements you can get onto your onto your equipment more so than just enchanting it which would be a really cool aspect to the game brings it a bit more into kind of like skyrim ish where you could improve the quality just by using things like this rather than enchanting them with spells then of course we have a bell and i'm pretty sure nothing can happen because i just hit right click and nothing happens and i'm thinking they're probably going to put this on top of like a church for minecraft like the villages like they'll probably just put this on top of it maybe it'll be rare i'm hoping it is like you can only find it in a village because that'd be really cool then of course the stone cutter which i'm not sure i remember a long time ago even though i wasn't playing minecraft at the time that stone cutter was in the game and it looked like a furnace slash crafting table mixed together but no one thought it was that applicable, so they got rid of it pretty fast. So I'm not sure why we have another stone cutter here. Unless this is going to be the only way we can get the stairs and slabs versions of new uh, stairs and slabs. Like maybe if you want andesite walls, you have to use the stone cutter. Maybe? Uh, that's what I'm thinking? I don't know. And then lastly, the cartography table. I'm thinking something with maps, obviously, because cartography and it's got a map on top. I'm not sure what else you could really do with it aside from that or like how this would be different than using a normal map in your crafting table. But hey, it's there. And then let's do real quick time set 100. Awesome. Now, of course, there's the scaffolding. And I, I'm kind of mixed on the scaffolding. Like, I like it a lot like the idea is cool that you can just keep going oh all the way up to build height and you just have to like hold right click and it'll go like that's a really cool idea and i think it'll be great for builders but i don't like that it can only go out four blocks because this is kind of expensive to make from what i've heard i'm pretty sure you need like bamboo and then string i think um, I mean, string is easy as long as you have a mob farm, but if you don't have a mob farm, you're kind of needing to do it just so that you can make scaffolding, which is kind of sad. So, you know, I'm a little concerned that it's going to be harder for those people who don't, who do redstone, but not really. Ah, we're at build height. That's why I'm doing all these extra, all these extra side ones. But, you know, I mean, I think it could be great. I'm just not so sure with it only going out four blocks before you have to do extra. So, like, let's come up to here. Okay, we're going to go out, 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 and out and down. 
then you have to start all over. Like, that's not, that's not that, that's going to be pretty expensive. You know what I mean? It's going to be extremely expensive, honestly. And it's going to be a little hard to do. Like, when you get rid of it, as long as it's being supported by one pillar, then it's still going to be standing. So you're going to have to break down all the pillars before you get everything to fall down. So, for instance, I'm doing this to build this pillar up. Once it gets there. Okay, cool. So then, like, I come over here and I break this one. Oof. That looks so cool. It looks really cool. See, what's this one doing here? They're really dropping each individual piece? That's crazy. Don't know why that was there. That's like a glitch. But see, these ones are still standing because they have these other pillars on it. So I come over here and I let's say I get rid of this one. It's only those. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense, but like... It's going to be a bit painful because now you have to get rid of all of the towers you do, even if they're like only random ones just so that you can move over six blocks instead of five. I mean four. Woo! It feels like I'm playing, I'm watching dominoes or something. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm a little hesitant. I wish maybe it could go out ten blocks before it needs a new tower. Maybe that would be better. I'm not entirely sure. But... I guess for now it's still a great idea, great ad addition to the game, and I'm super glad that they did add it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not using the new textures right now. At least I think, I what is this? Oh, that's just floating things. I'm pretty sure I'm not using the new textures. I don't think they have them out for newbies, normal people like me. Although they do have a different texture. Is the stone a different texture? That's the main thing. The stone is the big thing that's changed recently that I've seen on Hermitcraft, but I don't think I have that new addition yet. I don't think so. I think this is the old stone, which is good because I hate the new stone. The new stone is absolutely horrendous. Like, horrendous. It's way too... I don't know. It just doesn't... This blends in, honestly. This just kind of blends, and you can kind of go with it. Whereas the new stone just stands out. It's a bit too graphic on the eyes, and I don't enjoy that. As for performance, though, this version of uh, the snapshot... What snapshot are we in? I forgot. I'll have to show you guys at the end. But this snapshot, the newest snapshot that is out, is so much better on performance. Like, there's, like, hardly any lag, which is crazy considering the fact that, um, that I have more lag on the iCraft server with Optifine on than I do right now. <laughs> so, it's definitely getting better. They're working on some bugs, obviously. You can tell because the world actually loads in better. And it's just, it's all around looking good. And I can't wait for them to be finished with it. And I can't wait to start a new adventure with all the things they're going to be adding with it. I really, really wish that somehow in this update they changed the look of actual uh, villager villages. That would be really cool if they were able to update it in some way. Maybe not a big change, but a little bit. And I know they're also supposed to be adding the, uh, the biome update to the... Not the savannah, the... What's it called? I voted for it. What was it called? I totally forgot. The one that won. The one with the spruce trees. Taiga, the Taiga. I know they're changing it, which is great and fine with me, but I, we haven't seen, oh, the lag of new chunks, man. We haven't seen any updates, really, with it, so we don't know in for sure what exactly it's going to be like. So I really want to see some of that in the future coming up. Maybe in the next few updates they'll do that. That'd be really cool. But aside from that, I think that's all I have time for today, and I'm stuck in a wall because of the lag. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below to show your support for the series. If you're new here, subscribe and hit hit the like button again. No, I'm kidding. Subscribe and comment down below if you have anything like to comment. Last but not least, before I go, let's go ahead and just check out the actual snapshot that I'm in. Single player snapshot world 18w45a. There we go. And now you know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys! <laughs>